Good morning, tree lovers. I'm Joel Mizell with the Tree Planters at thetreeplanters.com. And we are showcasing another Sylvester cross-pollinated with a Reclinata. Again, what happens with a Reclinata is you end up with a multi-trunk palm tree that all have skinny trunks. And what happens with a Sylvester, you have one single trunk that is real fat. And when you cross-pollinate the two, all the trunks are fatter than the Reclinata trunk. And you get a few other characteristics as well, including speed of growth, decelerates, and they have a different head, a different trunk structure, and just a totally different look. Now this tree is four trunks, including the little bitty trunk in the front of it, which is right there. That trunk looks like it's only about, I don't know, eight feet tall. The other trunks are in the 25 to 28 foot range. And the total height of this tree looks like it's gonna be 35-ish. So let me just pan up a little bit so you can see this. My buddy, Sean, is standing over to the left. By the way, Sean is our IT guy with the tree planters. Hey, Sean, can you wave at everybody and just shout, hello? Oh. <laughs> I love putting my friends on the spot. Uh, so all the videos that you see, all the posting that you see is the creation of Sean O'Brien. So the face of this tree is right here. If you want this tree in your yard, we're going to advise you to plant it so that this is the top viewing spot right here. The three tall trunks are almost perfectly triangled off of each other. And the front short trunk is going to be lower than the crowns of the three tall trunks. And it's going to give it a very nice symmetrical look. Now this tree, you know, you can put it in front of a, a small cabin uh, or a, a low hanging tree, um, uh, dwelling, you can certainly do that. This tree belongs in the center island of a two or three or four story house. In order to give it the greatest impact, that's where it needs to go. Now these trees are not economical. You cannot buy one of these and bargain on the price. Uh, it will need a large crane to get it out of the ground. It will need special hauling uh, privileges by the DOT just to get it down the road because it's going to be heavy and long and possibly wide also. And it's going to need a large crane on the other end to unload it and put it back in the ground. So all of these things mean more and more costs get added in. So let me walk around this tree real quick. We're approaching the three minute mark on this video and that's where we like our videos to be at the three minute mark. So you can see as I walk around to the side that this tree changes. It has a different view from over here looking at it sideways. So what this tells me is we're gonna, we're going to want to tuck it into an area where it fits well and the dominant view is the front of it that we were looking at just a moment ago. So anyhow, that's enough for today on this tree. This is a specimen centerpiece, that's what we call it. And let me remind you real quick, I'm Joel Mizell with the Tree Planters at thetreeplanters.com. I invite you to like, follow, and share our Facebook videos and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go to our website and let us know that you're looking for a specimen centerpiece because we have a lot more to show you. Thank you much, have a great day.